It's one of the more unusual Christmas albums for 2016. Alan Jones singing duets with his younger self, bringing together the treble voice of Alan Jones, aged 12, with the baritone of Alan Jones, aged 46. And this unique example of connecting with our inner child seems peculiarly appropriate in the Christmas season. The Bible has different ways of describing the process of getting older. The most common metaphor is that of a journey, even a race. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith, as St Paul put it. Much as many a winner of Masterchef or Strictly will instinctively say, it's been quite a journey. But another metaphor is that of a tree. Happy are those whose delight is in the law of the Lord, as the psalmist puts it. They are like trees planted by streams of water whose leaves do not wither. So how do we relate to our younger selves? In the journey metaphor, we've left them way behind and can never truly connect with them again, except perhaps through the technology that enables the two Alan Joneses to duet together. While in the tree metaphor, they are still somehow a part of us, and each tree simply adds another ring to our experience, while preserving and protecting the rings of the past. And there's something about Christmas that resonates with that tree metaphor, with our inner child, whether joyfully or painfully, or a bit of both. Hence, perhaps, the prompting, part spiritual, part nostalgic, that drives huge and growing crowds of people to carol services and nativities each year. Jesus never encouraged his followers to be childish, though that hasn't always seemed to stop them. But he did encourage his followers to be childlike. Anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child, as he once put it, will never enter it. So how does a little child receive the kingdom of God? Indeed, how does a little child receive anything? Well, Christmas is the best possible time to do our research. And in my experience of bringing up small children, now a whole lot bigger, they have very little problem with receiving gifts. Hand a small child a present, for example, and you don't expect them to respond, Oh, you really shouldn't have. Offer a small child a compliment, say, praising them for the quality of the picture that they're painting, and you don't expect them to respond, oh, it's nothing really, just an amateur attempt. Instead, they'll freely accept your present and your praise without any qualms at all. So what do children give in return? They can't match the money you've spent on the present, and they haven't learned the niceties of issuing pretty compliments. They can't return in kind at all. But what they can do is smile and laugh and love and make you feel like a million dollars. So that Jesus' call on us to receive the kingdom of God like a little child has something to do with freely receiving God's gift and something to do with freely responding, not in kind because that would be quite impossible, but in joy and love and obedience and worship. I guess the carol In the Bleak Midwinter puts it best, even if the lyrics tend towards the saccharine. And as I sing that carol this Christmas time, I guess I'm joining the 40-year-old Andrew Watson who sang that carol as a vicar in Twickenham and the 20-year-old Andrew Watson who sang that carol as a student in Cambridge and the 10-year-old Andrew Watson who sang that carol as a child in Winchester and the 5-year-old Andrew Watson who sang that carol at his infant school near Buckingham. I can't keep up with the Allard Joneses, of course, and I'm quite unable to issue an album of duets or trios with my former self, but I am perhaps able to reconnect with the earlier rings of the tree and to pray for God's grace freely to receive and freely to respond to the extraordinary news of the birth of a Saviour who is Christ the Lord. Have a very happy Christmas.